Hi everyone, this is Real Talk with Coach Sherry. Just wanted to give you a quick update on what I've been up to. Oh my goodness, I've only done a couple of videos and I've been really busy, lots of things happening, life. And I just wanted to share with you that I am working on a project. I'm an apprenticeship specialist for a major department in a huge city and I am developing the not only the apprenticeship program but also their whole workforce development system. And today I was with the apprentices all day. Um, this morning I taught a basic computer class on how to utilize Outlook and do emails and calendaring and scheduling appointments and things of that nature. And then I taught an accountability workshop on, you know, how to be more accountable as an employee and how that affects everyone within their crew, within their division and within the department as a whole so that went over very well um, since I had the apprentices all day I wanted to make sure it was packed with lots of content and information that they could utilize right away so I invited a representative from Bank of America to come in and she taught them financial literacy on better money moves um, it's a great program you can go online and do it yourself it's free um, you know it Teach. Today they went over, you know, budgeting and savings and um, a little bit about taxes and just some great tips on how to be better stewards with their with their money. Um, I invited guest speakers from different divisions so that they could see where their career paths may take them, um, that they didn't just have to stay where they are in utilities. They are so many different other areas within this department that they can go in so I had someone from customer service who talked about pre-billing meter reading um, her journey which is amazing I mean she started from the bottom and she has had so many great promotions um, just because of the type of worker that she is and um, the respect that she has from you know from different people in her department um, also I had someone from lift station and that that department or division really interested them that the apprentices had never heard of or considered lift station so it was really great to hear um, there are interesting questions regarding what it entails and you know the possibilities for them in the future I also had someone from heavy equipment operator and you know he talked about um, his responsibilities on his job CCTV which is a whole um, truck <laughs> really um, there's four of them within this department but what they do they have those robotic little cars that go underground in the sewer systems to um, to film what's going on in the in the sewer lines so if there's a blockage or anything like that they can detect it and determine exactly how far it is and how they can you know better and efficiently more efficiently um, take care of it let me see, I think I had another guest speaker. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, let me see, the heavy equipment operator, lift station, customer service, and CCTV. And I think that's it. But you know what? I am so proud of my apprentices. They are in month four and they are doing a phenomenal job. Their program is actually just going to be for one year. So they'll have 2,000 on the job training hours OJT and um, it's supposed to be 144 classroom hours but the way that I have it situated is 164 classroom hours and they have gained so many soft skills they have great coping skills workplace ethics um, communication team building just a great a great start for them as they enter the life or the world of careers you know this is more than just a job it's a career and that's what we're here to um, really develop them into having that type of mindset and so they have a lot more respect I think for what they do and what they're learning so um, I'm excited about their path and their journey and I'm doing what I love I'm able to 
just about utilize all of my skills that I've gained along the years in various things that I've done in my life and I'm able to transfer them into this opportunity and you know that's what I am I'm you know I'm here to serve and do my best and the only way I could do my best is if everyone else is also doing their best so that's my goal is to skill up the workforce so that you know our country can be a better place that's my contribution <laughs> so anyway you know just enjoying this day I wanted to come out and just chat with you guys for a little bit um, and just give you a little update of what's going on I want to come out and um, provide you with updates so that you can follow this journey and hopefully take some tips or tidbits and um, it can help you as well I went to a great conference last week with um, NC Works Partnerships and um, that was in Greensboro North Carolina and I met some wonderful people there that are doing great things around the state of North Carolina regarding workforce development and um, I, I really feel like I'm going to be a speaker there next year you know I have a lot to contribute um, doing some great things in the industry that I'm in right now along with my previous experiences so I think I would make a great speaker hint hint if anyone from NC works is listening um, at any rate yeah a lot of things are going on I'm looking forward to keeping you updated let me see a great tip remember to update your resume twice a year you know um, it's not too late to do it now I always recommend to my clients and everyone to stay resume ready it's important to stay resume ready what does resume ready mean it means that if you find or happen upon an opportunity that is calling your name <laughs> that's only missing your name from it that you are ready to apply for that position because your resume is ready you can apply for it right then and there you know don't scramble around trying to find someone to help you um, revise your resume update your resume keep it updated so that's why every six months you should update your resume because I always say within six months you will have gained you will have gained um, new skills new knowledge new have had new experiences that are very relevant for today that can help you on your next move be it a promotion or a new position um, with a new company and um, you know you want to have that captured on your resume also you want to take off things that are ir irrelevant you know you sh your resume shouldn't date back beyond 10 years not saying that you can't speak about what you've done 10 years or 20 years ago um, during an interview but on your resume that all that doesn't need to be captured um, you want to have it as current and relevant as possible you also want to be very specific when you are applying for a particular position and to in to make sure you have those keywords for that position laced throughout your resume so that it will capture and attract the um, hiring managers you know I, um, most of the people that I had as guest speakers today were in positions to hire um, you know they were in leadership roles and that's one of the things that they said that they look for they are they're like if the resume is not speaking to the skills that I need then I just next it you know I mean it's a waste of time they they get so many resumes until they have to have some type of process of elimination so one of the eliminating processes is to see if the person it actually has a skill set and one way to make sure your skill set is captured is to sorry trying to get that sun is to um, put it in on the top like in your core competencies or you can call it um, oh my gosh look at that bug oh. oh my goodness that bug I hope you were able to see it but luckily it's outside anyway um, you know you want to have that listed on the top of your resume so that that's one of the first things that they see when they um, look at your resume I hope that was helpful and I look forward to many more conversations with you if you have any questions regarding your career path or um, professional development workforce development leave me a message down below also please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because many more is going to come with Real Talk with Coach Sherry. Thank you.